The East Rim of the Grand Canyon is one of the most sacred sites to the Navajo and other native peoples. Here, the Colorado River is joined by the Little Colorado in a sacred confluence that is now under the threat of massive development. Navajo Nation officials working with developers from Arizona have made controversial plans to build a multi-million dollar resort on the canyon rim. This development would include a tramway down to the confluence where a restaurant and river walk would bring tens of thousands of visitors to this fragile and sacred landscape. In the Navajo way, we have ancestral homes. We all come from a place. Each of the areas that we come from have a story. Uh, there's certain buttes, there's certain uh, canyons that, that have a, a story that, that relates to our families tied to that area. My name is Franklin Martin and I'm from here on Bodaway Gap and I have a trailer just right over the hill on that side just a few miles off the rim. We got cows, horses out here so we we have people kind of uh, intertwined here with each other overlapping grazing areas and stuff. It, uh, Medicine men, they go out this way and they do their prayers at the edge where the confluence is, where the waters, they overlap, so. And it's, it's sacred to them. And more or less the whole thing is sacred because it's like a boundary line between, you know, outside and we're, we're the way at the end of the Navajo reservation. There are things that you can't sacrifice, and this is one of it. People that never been out here, that never seen the view from the canyon, what it means, what it takes into, what you have to take into your heart. They never seen it. That's why they want to get rid of it, because these greedy people, these money, money hungry people, they want to take it. You know, this, it's, it's just uncalled for, it's just stupid. The river is the lifeblood that brings water to all the plants, all the animals, the, the earth, you know. And that's how we, uh, that's the things that we pray to too, so that we, we live in harmony. And so we're supposed to always pray to that. Those are deities. Um, when, when two deities like this meet, you know, it, it's really, really a sacred area. That is the water. One flows this way, the other flows there. The elders used to say a long time ago, both rivers are very sacred place. Our elders said it should not be disturbed for any reason. We've always lived this way for hundreds and if not thousands of years. Livestock is something that fits our lifestyle. That's the way we, we live in, in little homesteads out there. Families also retain traditional ownership. It's how you you, you maintain your right to that land. Look at the Navajo Nation seal, what, we, what represents our, our nation, our Dine people. It's got, it's got the four sacred mountains, it's got livestock, it's got the rainbow, it's got the corns, where the corn pollen come from, everything in there. It's all out here. If you know how to pray, if you know how to look at those things, they're out there. But if you don't know how to pray, if you don't know nothing about respect to your elders, and all these people, they say they respect their elders. Their elders, you know, like their, their grandparents, their parents, they were raised traditionally. They don't respect that. A small group of local activists who call themselves Save the Confluence has been formed by Navajos whose families have called this area home for generations. They oppose the Grand Canyon Escalade development and the questionable tactics being used to divide the local community. We have a lot of support from some, from some local people, uh, some that still understand the Navajo culture and religion. So that's what we, that's all we got, you know, the, my religion and culture, how we were brought up. The tradition that we have as the net, we have to respect that. That's why our tradition is evaporating. It's, it's vanishing because of things like this. I believe that that's sacred, you know. Why, why, 
why destroy it or why mess with it. To learn what you can do to help the Navajo protect the confluence and the Grand Canyon from this objectionable development, please visit us online at www.savetheconfluence.com.